I get a lot of comments, and a lot of those comments are questions. Your burning questions. Right. A lot of times, these comments can also be troll comments. And a lot of times, I mean a lot of times, they can be troll comments. They can be the lowest, most vile comments on the internet from the most vile, trollist people out there. Childhood ruined. I'm sorry, IUDUE, whatever your name is. WTF have I seen? I have no idea, Camper485. Perhaps it was my face that you've seen. And then you have requests for games. More World of Tanks. More Company of Heroes. More whatever the game could be. Krebs, where is it? And then you have comments from other trolls who like to have flame wars in the comment box amongst their peers. You fucking retard, this is not a sm. This is a fps game. People nowadays, what can you do? Well, I wouldn't say that it's quite a fps game. It's a decent simulator, if you ask me. It's not the actual most realistic simulator. It's not like you're flying a fucking jet in real life. But it's an attempt at being a simulator. It is trying to simulate something. It's trying to also be an MMO. Would you say it's a first-person shooter? Well, I don't know. At times I would say it's a third-person shooter because I'm flying behind my plane. That's my opinion, anyway. And then there's questions about my life. Becoming a pharmacist, are you, Krebs? My girlfriend was a pharmacist for nine years. She said it's one of the most boring occupations. Oh, well, was that like an indirect jab at my job? I, I, I have no idea. What, what, what is that supposed to mean? It's sort of like comparing, say, how somebody finds collecting stamps to be exciting, and then another person likes to fix up cars and race them, and that's exciting for them. For some people, working in a supermarket is the dream job of their lives. Well, I would say that pharmacy, fair enough, it's not a dream job of me, but I love it! What would you not like more than being able to meet with members of the community, people that you would normally see on your street, helping them with their health, being that moralistic person? There's nothing wrong with that, you get to meet people, it's a grand job. You get to work with colleagues day in, day out. You get to know them quite well. It's banter. It's crack, as the Irish would say. And then you have questions that are actual, genuine questions. Do you use a joystick? Hmm. Yes, I do. I do use a joystick. It might not be the most fanciest of joysticks. It doesn't have every button on it. But goddamn, does it do the job. That's all you need. It doesn't matter what input you might use in War Thunder, whether it's a joystick, a mouse, a keyboard, I don't know, your eyeballs twitching, your cheek muscle moving, twitching like Stephen Hawking. Whatever it is, if it works and you can kill planes, that is fine. Because other people out there can kill you as well. It's balanced. Hmm, Krebs, do you play the American planes? Are the German and UK planes the best? Well, the American planes. A lot of people think they're underwhelming because of their machine guns that they have. Not a lot of their planes have those cannons readily available, such as the 20mm ones. So, they suffer a bit, but it doesn't mean that they suffer right on through. There's Era Cobras, King Cobras, 37 millimeters of derp. Yes, there are other derp cannons out there, not only the Yak-9T and the Yak-9K. They do exist, other ones. So, in terms of bomber destroying, 37 millimeter cannons available to the Americans, perfect. Now, what about those machine guns? Fair enough, they aren't the best, but... Then again, it doesn't always matter. As long as you're a smart player, you're not going into the midst of a furball by yourself. Yes, you have extreme balls if you're doing that. If you're not doing that, and you're selecting your targets, if you're trying to aim at them properly, your machine guns can have a devastating effect. Mind you, isn't the Kitty Hawk one of the best planes at lower tiers for historical battle? Yeah, I, I would say so. The Americans aren't underwhelming at all. 
they can be good as long as used in the right capacity. Are the German and UK planes the best? Well, a lot of people would argue and say so. Does Krebsy think that way? They can be. They can be some of the best, especially the Germans with their crazy amount of cannons. Yes, uh, the advent of the new Falkenwolf A5. You got four cannons from the beginning, 20 millimeters, and after upgrading it a little bit, you can get extra rockets. It can become a little bit derp. They are very powerful fighters for what they are. The Germans, overwhelming firepower. The Brits, amazing turn time with also decent firepower. Not as great as the Germans, but the Hispanos, whatever they might be, still very superb. Let alone, also, an historical battle. The Germans and the Brits have some amazing fighters that they can use. Especially at lower tiers like the Spitfires, the Hurricanes. Those are great. The Germans at lower tiers, maybe not the best, but once they level up a bit to the BF-109s, and apparently the BF-109E1, that's making a big comeback, a uh, big comeback in this patch with its armament, its machine guns and high capacity ammo. Yeah, they're pretty decent planes. So overall, you could say that the Brits and the Germans have these factors that stand out, make them awesome to fly with and I would agree to that respect yeah they can be pretty damn good but it doesn't go to say that American planes are bad do I play with American planes abso freaking lootly so then what is the outro song I get asked this all the time it is daybreak by overwork that is daybreak by overwork it's an awesome tune, and that's the exact reason why I chose it for my outro. I know this is a noobish question, but I started playing the game yesterday. So how you change the camera angle so that you look around while flying? What you do, my dear man. Stain ten one. Stain ten one. You hold the C button to look around. Krebs. When I launch the game, it just comes up with a black screen. What should I do? Turn on your monitor. He hasn't any jets yet, does he? Nope, I have no jets. But guess what? I am just about to unlock them on the Brits. Tier 17, whoop whoop, on the way. Hey Krebs, could you play some USSR? I wonder why you want me to play USSR. Could it be that hammer and sickle in your avatar? Does that have anything to do with it? Losev Stalin? Right. Can I play with the USSR? Good question. Yeah. No. No furb. Semicolon underscore semicolon. Yeah, unfortunately I'm not playing any FURB. I've tried it a number of times in test flights to take off, and I think I actually did take off a number of times. However, I was very wonky. Does this mean that I'm a noob for playing arcade battles and historical battles? No, not at all. FURB, full real battle, is not exactly the defining feature of the game. Most people play arcade because it's the most easily accessible. Not everyone that joins a game is in the mood to play something that is more simulator-like. And even FURB, <laughs> Full Real Battle, is sometimes ridiculed by people who play other simulators out there. So just because you play Full Real Battle and you might think that it's the ultimate simulator, no, it probably isn't. Which computer do you have? I don't exactly know how to answer this one. It's not some sort of super duper Alienware, although it is at the same level of awesomeness. It's one I built by myself with my own hard earned money. My own blood and sweat went into putting this thing together and damn did it take a long time assembling all those parts. I think it took me the better half of a day to actually assemble this thing together. It's a big towering computer case, black if you could imagine this. With red lights, it has a motherboard, graphics card, RAM, memory, power supply unit, fans, also some other stuff like a sound card, and, and, and a recording device. Yeah, 
that sort of usual stuff you'd expect in a computer. <laughs> I can't list down my stuff all the time, my exact specs. But if you want to find out about it, it's going to be in the description box below. Happy days. Krebs, which is the fastest, most versatile plane in the game? I have no idea. But apparently, I've been told from a number of birds that the MiG-15 is the most fastest and most versatile plane in the game. It's awesome in their words. I can't answer it because I don't have jets. I told you guys I don't have jets. Why are you asking me when I don't have jets? But apart from that, what is the fastest, most versatile plane? Probably one like this. So yeah, I guess you could say that this was a very serious Q&A. And you've probably noticed that this video is coming near to an end. Well, I'd like to announce to you guys, I am now going to be pursuing my career in singing by starting a Krebs Vivo page. Thank you. Thank you, one and all. I will catch you all later.